So today we are going to talk about menus. So to set up your menus, you're going to go down to appearance and click on menus. There's multiple ways to get here. So you can get it there from the front end by clicking on the name of your website and menus. It takes you to the same place. When we scroll down, you can see that there are several different menus already created for you. My menus may be different than yours, but I have the top menu. I have a split navigation menu, one on the right, one on the left, sidebar categories, mobile menu, Instagram, and two footer menus. If we go back to the front end, we can take a look. This is my top menu, and these are my left and right split navigation menus. If we go ahead and scroll down to the bottom, you can see both of my footer menus here. In addition, we have the Instagram menu as well as the mobile menu. The mobile menu is going to be independent of your desktop menu, um, so you can build that differently, which I will show you later. Okay, so once we're back to menus, you can see I have top menu selected right here. But if we to select a menu, we hit the drop down, click on it and hit select. That allows us to flip between the, the types of menus. When we're going to add stuff to our menus, we have four options, pages, posts, custom links and categories. So all you do is you select the page that you want to add. Here I've already got freebies, but let's select it again. Click add to menu and it goes ahead and adds it to the bottom. Next, if we want to add a blog post, it will be the same thing. I don't have blog posts, but you would check the box next to the blog post you want to add and click add to menu and it will add it to the bottom of the menu as well. Custom links. This may be for a portfolio or something that you have built outside of WordPress. You go ahead and drop the link to it. And in the link text box, we're going to go ahead and title it how we want it to show up in our menu. Once you've added that, click add to menu and it'll add it to the bottom. Lastly, if you have a category, you can add a category to your menu. Select the category you want to add, click add menu and it adds it to the bottom. If we scroll over, we can order them by just dragging and dropping. We can also make them a sub item by indenting it. So when someone hovers over facts, it's going, they're going to see test category below it, or if they click on facts, it'll be test category below it or whatever your category is. I'll show you later how to attach blog posts to those categories. Always make sure to hit save menu in the bottom right hand corner when you're done making edits to your menu. Next, we can click on manage locations. This is where we're going to associate a menu with its location. Most of the themes come set up, so I don't recommend you switch them around, but if you need to, this is where you would. And you can see all of the locations match the name of the menu, which makes it easy to use. When we go back to edit menus, we can click on sidebar categories. If you have a lifestyle blog, you may have categories like fashion or beauty, and you want those to show up in the sidebar, you can go ahead and add that widget to the sidebar. And this is where you would create the menu for that so that those categories would actually show up. Again, you would click on categories, select the categories you want to show up in that widget, click add to menu. Many of the 17th Avenue themes come with an Instagram page, which is meant to function much like a link tree just within your own website. So here you would go ahead and create the menu for that Instagram page. And later I'll show you how to set up the entire Instagram page with the menu and the widgets. And then we have our mobile menu here. You can again, drag and drop all of the pages, posts, custom links, or categories you want to add to your mobile menu. Next, let's head over to appearance and widgets. We're going to slide over to the mobile menu. You can see there's a 17th Avenue icons widget and a search bar. 
on my mobile menu. And then of course the menu will show up there. So on our Instagram landing page, we could drop down and we see we've got a widget for the navigation menu. When we click on that, you'll see Instagram menu right there. Next, we've got our social icons widget where we can add all of our links. The about me widget, tell a little bit about yourself. Mine's still on the default. Featured posts, if you want to feature any of your blog posts, this is where you would do it. And your e-news extended, where you can add an opt-in form for maybe a freebie or a newsletter. So, but you can change all of those widgets depending on what your needs are. As you can see, I don't have any categories. I don't have a blog on my website. So we're going to go over to posts and categories, and we're going to create a category here. So you're going to name your category. Again, if it's a lifestyle blog, it may be beauty, it may be fashion. Here, I'm just going to create a test category. You can create um, a slug if you don't want to do that. It's going to auto-populate it to the name of your category. So mine will be test hyphen category. You can create a you can select a parent category and you can add a description. Then we're just going to click add new category. And you can see on the right hand side, they've added my test category. We can select it and add additional information. You could see here the slug was added, test category, you can add a parent, a description, and then there are some archive settings for a headline intro text, including media. And then at the bottom, we have the theme SEO settings where you can do a custom document title, meta description, meta keywords, etc. When you're done, just make sure to click update to save your changes. We're going to head back over to categories and you can see my category there. Now, I'm gonna show you how to connect your blog post to the category. So if you create a new blog post, you're gonna slide over and click on categories in the right-hand column. Your categories will populate, you select the appropriate one. And now when someone clicks on your category page, the blog post you've added to that category will populate. So all of your beauty posts will populate under the beauty category. So you may want to add them to your menu as I showed you before, but let me just refresh your memory and we are going to go down to appearance and menus. Click there. And if we select the appropriate menu, we want to add our category to, I'm going to click top menu and hit select. Now that we have a category, we're going to slide down to categories, view all. I'm going to select my category and click add to menu. And now my category will show up in my menu. So if it's beauty, someone will be able to go right up to my top menu, click on beauty and find all of my beauty blog posts. I'll show you here. Test category is added to my top menu. If you have any questions about categories or menus, please feel free to leave a question in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found value in this video so that I will continue to make them. Thanks.